Hi guys, it's 824 and Aubrey and I are ready to go to the track. Look at this. Say hi. Hi. Oh, sorry you guys. So yeah, we're going to the track. Um, 824 and um, I'm gonna, she, I probably won't be able to update you guys as much as I usually do because I'm gonna have to end up giving her my phone, you guys. So yeah, but we're leaving now to go to the track. I gotta be back before 10. So that's why we're leaving, like, we literally got up and left. So I will see you guys when I get to the track. Yeah, okay. Hi guys, I'm over here. I'm at the going to the bridge. I'm, I'm just letting you guys know that um, I'm not going to my regular track today. I'm going to be going to the flat one. And that's why I'm not going to school today. Okay, yes, Aubrey. I'm going to the flat one because of the stroller, because the roads are not, like, wide enough up there in the other one. And um, I can get it done faster over here at the flat one. So I'm just letting you know that that's what we're doing. We're going on the flat one today. But we're over right here at the, at the track. Hi guys, um, sorry, I'm trying to turn the stroller, but I'm at 1.36. And so far so good. I'll show you guys a little bit more of the track. I know you guys remember it from last time, but I'll show you a little bit. So here we go, you guys. Remember this track. It's where I'm walking today. I, God, I hate my daughter's, daughter's stroller, you guys. It's one of those jogging ones where you have to um, like turn it, turn the wheel yourself. So I'll, hold on a minute you guys. Oh, sorry about that guys. I'm just walking here. I had to open up the gummies for her. But yeah, I'm at like 1.36 you guys. This takes a lot longer with, no, wait a minute Aubrey. This no. takes a lot longer with, um, whoa, sorry guys. This takes a lot longer with her with me than it would be by myself but hey i came i'm doing it so that all that count that's all that counts but i have you guys right here on my stroller i figured that's the easiest way for me to update you guys while i'm walking here uh, but i'm sure uh, most likely fridays um i'll be coming to this track because just like i said the, the the track up where i normally go the roads through like the branches and everything are not wide enough. Almost time, Aubrey. She's been asking when we're going home. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do a couple more laps and then we'll go home, okay? Because mommy's not, mommy's not gonna do her full three just because it's hard with you. So we'll do a couple more, then we're gonna go home. And then I'll see you guys once I leave. Hey guys, I'm at 2.2 and um, I'm finishing up this lap here, then I'm gonna head home because there's only so much she can handle. So at least I did two, I did do two times. So I'm at two point something is what I'm at. I took a picture so you guys will see it before this. But um, yeah, like I said, during the week, I'll definitely be able to get like all my everything in because I won't have her, but um, yeah, so we're gonna finish this lap up here. I know this is a bad angle, you guys, but I literally have you, like, right here. And you know kids, they can only last so long in a stroller. And it's happy, she probably lasts as long as she did, mainly because I brought snacks and a drink for her. So that basically... If she wouldn't have had that, she definitely wouldn't have lasted. So. Almost to the end of this one. God, I hate this show, you guys. I literally have to, like, pick it up just to get it to turn. It sucks. We're going to go home now. You know where our home is. She's silly. Where is it? Down the road. You know where it is. She's tired still. We literally got out of bed and got dressed and came. So. Okay, let's go this way to leave.
so I'm going over to the park, you guys, to go under the bridge, like I normally do every day. Um, we're gonna go home now, and I'm gonna make a nice coffee. Um, get some. Then we're gonna make some eggs. Yeah, we're gonna have some eggs for breakfast. Yeah, she Aubrey loves eggs. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have some eggs, and then we're going to. I gotta clean up a little bit, um, clean up my table a little bit, and then her BCBA is coming over around 11. I mean, I'm sorry, around 10. And then my mom's picking us up at 11:30 to go to BJ's to get the candy for her birthday party. And then I have to go to Walmart, I'm sorry. I have to go to Price Shopper to get some meat and stuff yeah, that I need. And, and we need some food for my birthday party. Yeah, we're not we gonna need, get the food yet though, Aubrey. We need Aubrey. some bowls, yeah. some, some covers, yeah. and then we need some stuff for my birthday party. Too. Yeah, so as you guys can see, I just went under the bridge here. Now I'm going over to the other one here. As you guys can see here, there's the other one. Oh, my sweating, guys. Definitely sweating. But it's good sweating. <laughs> it's definitely good when you're working out. And not, well, some people wouldn't consider walking working out, but. Well, I'm over here near the fire rescue place where I walk through every day. And I will see you guys when I get back home. Hey guys, we're home now. And I'm eating Yeah, Aubrey's having some peanut butter. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna put some Daniel Tiger on for her. And I'm gonna make myself a nice coffee, make us some eggs. I'm gonna make myself some eggs, but I know she's gonna want some too. So, make some eggs. Um, there you go, Aubrey, okay? Mommy will get you some milk, okay? You want some chocolate milk? Aubrey? Yeah? Okay. So, yeah, guys. My legs feel like... You can tell I've been walking every day this week. Because <laughs> my legs feel like numb. Well, not numb, but like they just feel weak. Not weak, I'm sorry. Limp. Like, just limp. That's how they feel. <laughs> But hey, walking is good for you, so I have no problem with walking. Definitely no problem with walking. It's better than running, because you guys, you wouldn't catch me running. <laughs> but I'm happy, you guys. Like, I'm happy I got up and did that. Very happy, because I know I was telling you guys how I couldn't go for a walk with my daughter. But, um, but I'm very, very happy. Very happy. And you guys, I'm going to be going upstairs to change my shirt because today is Friday the 13th. So, of course, I'm going to be wearing one of my Jason shirts, of course. So, this shirt's going to be coming off. I'm going to take it off anyways, you guys. Don't think that I'm getting naked around here. <laughs> but I have a tank top on here. But I'm sweating, so I'm going to take that off. I'm going to make my iced coffee. Um, definitely not as sweaty as I usually am though you guys I'm going to move you guys over here so I can make a nice coffee but I'm definitely not as sweaty as I usually am you guys because um, I didn't do my full walk so if I did my full walk then now I'm going to I'm going to try and do a, um, Jace, a Friday I'm sorry Friday the 13th marathon today I'm going to try but most likely I won't be able to start it till like tonight when I get home because my daughter's home and her BCBA is coming and then I'm leaving with my mother. So like if she would have been in school today, I could have started like right now and then waited until she got out of school. But since she's not in school, like there's really nothing I can do. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna put my iced coffee in my old Shakeology cup here. It smells like coffee. <laughs> and I'm 
I'm taking out these waters that I froze. Oh my God, you guys. So on the way to the track, I was coming down my driveway and I like um, went over the curve a little bit and my water, my water bottle fell and now it was completely ice. So it cracked in half and I couldn't even drink, I couldn't even have it. Like I had to throw it away. I'm like, oh, so I didn't have a drink the whole time I was walking. Like, oh, which sucked. Cause I like to drink something when I'm walking. Iced coffee. And this is gonna be the only coffee I have for the day cause I'm filling this whole thing you guys. So only coffee I'm having for the day. creamer here and then some packets I use Truvia you guys Truvia is what I use so and my daughter's BCBA um she texted me and told me how um She's got to go do some x-rays because um, last week she broke her thumb when, and she got into an accident and she broke her thumb. So I guess today she's going for like um, to see her doctor and they want to do x-rays. So she told me she might be a little bit late. So that gives me more time to put, do, do my stuff. So, but I'm going to put this cover on. and do this. And there's my coffee. Trust me, usually I have it dark, I mean lighter, but um, mm. I'm not used to coffee like that, guys, but it actually tastes good. My daughter's trash from our walk. But you guys, um, I'm gonna crack some eggs, get some egg whites, um, because um, you guys, I am going to, like, I've been doing keto, but like, I'm gonna start doing it the way that Monica does it, which is just the lean meats like not the fatty meats, which I'm not even gonna buy any hamburger today, you guys. I'm getting turkey meat. That's all I'm getting is turkey meat and chicken. And I'm gonna see if I can get a bag of shrimp and I have plenty of tuna. So um, I'm not even gonna be buying any hamburger, you guys. Um, like I might buy, I still have some in my freezer. So that will be good to have when I make my daughter's food. Cause my daughter, I make sloppy joes with my daughter and she can have a hamburger. But um, I'm not even going to buy any hamburger today when I go to the store. Because I'm trying to do like the lean meats. And then I was talking to um, Angel. And she said that the egg whites are good to have. And I think I'm going to make have egg whites and one turkey sausage is what I'm going to have. Because I still have some turkey sausages left in the freezer. So I think I'm going to do eggs. I think I'm going to like probably make four egg whites and make it up. I know that's usually I have to cook it. It's barely anything you guys. So, but mommy's gonna make make eggs now, okay? Okay, can you make them right now? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys after I make my food. Hi guys. Um, it's ten ten, and my daughter's BCBA should be here before, like right before ten thirty. So I need to get going and do some stuff but um i had i made two turkey sausage patties which are it's zero carbs for one so i'm thinking maybe it's one carb for two is what i'm thinking and then i had five egg whites but there's still some left i'll show you guys and my daughter ate some with me but it was five egg whites and usually when you do egg whites it's so much smaller than what it would be if you had a whole egg so i'll show you guys real quick but this is what's left right here you guys we i'm i'm full i don't really want any more and my daughter is full too Cause she ate a bunch of snacks and then had peanut butter so this is what's left you guys and i still have my iced coffee 
So yeah, I'm gonna get going here because um, BCBA is coming. Um, I'm not gonna be able to, uh, it sucks. I wanted to start my Jason marathon like now, but I have like stuff that I need to do and I'm most likely gonna be like starting it tonight, you guys, which we're not tonight, but when I get home with my mom and everything, I'll start it before I go out with my dad. I'll probably end up watching like one or two of them before I go out and then, or maybe even one of them before I go out. And then when I get home, I'll continue it. But I'm definitely watch wearing my Jason shirt today. Definitely wearing my Jason shirt today. So I gotta throw these out. Hold on one second, guys. But yeah, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. And start getting going on cleaning up some stuff. So I know everybody's different, but no way, sorry guys, no way in hell am I going to allow my 13 year old to wear makeup. Never. My parents didn't let, like, <clears throat> my mother <clears throat> wouldn't have cared. Oh, oh my God. Sorry, you guys. But I just got an email pop up that Bath and Body Works has fall candles. Oh my God. I definitely have to check that out. My, fr I'm sorry to be off topic, but my friend, um, Sophia, we're not really friends, but we graduated together, but I have her on Facebook and everything. She works there, so I'm going to have to ask her if her store has them out, but oh my God, I need some pumpkin candles, you guys. I need them, need them, need them, need them. And I think it was like a year, two years ago, I literally got every single one they had, every single one they had and stocked up on them so that I had them throughout the year and I'm going to try to do that this year you guys I'm going to try and like I said I've been keeping money for, for, for my Ebates for decorations and stuff like this so I might just use some of my Ebates money to get candles but like I was saying um, my stepfather was the one who was more stricter than my mother but he wouldn't let me wear makeup until I hit like high school and I think it was like um, sophomore year or something like that so I was not even allowed to wear makeup until I was in like high school so for a 13 year old to be wearing freaking makeup is pathetic pathetic like I'm sorry but like I try you're when you're 13 you're at your it's teen like it's 13 but you're not really a teen in my opinion you're not really a teen until you hit like 16 that's really when you're a teen in my opinion or maybe like 15 16 is really when you're a teen but like 13 you're just starting to be like a teen you're like a preteen basically or is 12 a preteen maybe 12 is a preteen but what i'm saying is that i feel like i still feel like 12 13 is still too young for um for be, to be wearing makeup but that's my opinion but I, you know there's a lot of parents out there who aren't even par like are it's not even your child it's your stepchild which which i know people consider that your child but like um my opinion is that like if you're the step parent then obviously you're obviously what you think matters because you're the step parent but like the main parents should be the one who decide everything not the step parents because um they may be they may be your stepchild but you're not blood blood their child so you shouldn't really be making the final decisions for the child because like I said you're not the actual parent so have the father made the decisions have the real mother made the decisions like not you because you're not even the real parent and, and i know it's different for each situation because some people um they have set parents that were literally in their lives from the day that they were born because the, the mother could have problems or something could come up the mother could could have died or like um 
you never know, just any type of problem. But then it would be different if literally they were with you from the day you were born and were with you your whole life and you barely saw your own mother. I feel like that may be a little different because they were in your life more than your actual mother was. But I still feel like step-parents should not have complete say over what the blood parents want for their child. And that's my opinion. Because, um... To this day, I still don't even call my stepfather dad. Uh Uh-uh. I call him by his name, Joe. Like, I call my dad dad because he's my dad. And my my brother is different. He he calls my stepfather dad. But, yeah, he's he's different. But, yeah, guys, I'm just cleaning up some stuff here um, to clear off this table here so that when the BCBA comes, she has a place to sit. Um... My table is usually always a mess. You guys know that. You guys know my table is usually always a mess. But, um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to quickly clean up here, you guys. And I will see you guys before she comes. Hey, guys, it's 1224 and I'm here at BJ's. Gonna, um, go in and get the candy and stuff so I'll I'll see you guys when I get inside so guys I'm going to get this party mix by here I'm going to find one more thing I'm going to find one more thing here but I also got some strawberries, some bread and then pull-ups so this is what I'm going to get you guys right here hey guys it's 2.14 and I am just Oh, God, over here, um, bagging up some meat, my meat that I got here. I have a whole bunch here, just been putting it in baggies. You guys, so, I think I told you guys this before, but, um, when I was pregnant with Aubrey, I had, like, a lot of shortness of breath, and it continued after I had her. So, I went and got it checked out, and it, they told me that I have, like, the hernia, and they told me I have, like, GERD which is a type of like acid indigestion. And um, the whole time that I was getting the shortness of breath, I never had like heartburn or anything. But all of a sudden today, I got came home from my walk, like I ate two turkey sausage patties and I ate a little bit of eggs. And then I left with my mom and all of a sudden, like my chest has been like tight and I feel like it's heartburn or something. Because I'm getting like a little bit of shortness of breath and stuff. So I don't know what the heck it is. But uh, my mom, like I used to get medication before. So I asked my mom if she can check her medicine cabinet to see if I left it in there. Like hopefully she didn't end up throwing it out when she was cleaning the bathroom or whatever. Because then I'm going to have to like get something at the store. But it's, but when I had the whole shortness of breath before, my, I never had actual heartburn. That's why, like, I never knew what it was when I would have the shortness of breath. But now, all of a sudden, today I have it, and I don't know why. It's like shortness of breath, and, like, my chest is, like, tight. I think I don't know what it is. But I have, like, a whole bunch of chicken. I got pork chops, chicken, and, um, turkey, ground turkey. So that's good. No Hamburg. No Hamburg. Like I told you guys, I'm not getting Hamburg. I have our, I already have Hamburg in my freezer. And what's left in there, I'll just use for my daughter. So. And I'm not going to do... Oh my God. I'm not going to do uh, my ground turkey until... Like, I'm not going to separate it until I get home tonight. Because I need to use my my scale and everything. And I still need to get my daughter's lunch ready for tomorrow. Because um, she's going to group tomorrow. So I still need to get her lunch ready. So I have to get put that together.
Okay, guys, I need to wash my hands. Oh. But yeah, you guys, the only thing I've eaten today is two, two sausage patties, turkey sausage patties, and a little bit of egg whites. That's the only thing I've eaten today. I'm going to try and eat something before I leave because my goal now is to not eat past 6 o'clock. Oh, God, you guys. Oh, my God. It's like a tightness in my chest. Like, I don't know what it is, you guys. Like, it started happening. Like, because I don't know if it's because I was walking fast at the track with, like, with my stroller and everything. Like, I don't know. But... Um, I gotta get this stuff into the freezer and then I'll show you guys afterwards. So there it is guys, pork chops, chicken, chicken. I had like, oh sorry guys, pork chops, chicken, and then I have some more chicken up there. Then I have chicken right here. And then this was um, a last little bit of chicken that I found last night. It was like deep in my freezer. And then I have obviously, I like to freeze stuff. And these are, I showed you guys before, but like, I only have like two left. But these are turkey patties that I had this morning. So I don't know if that would give me help. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully my mother has that medication still at her house for me. It was like, it was kind of like a um, heartburn. It was kind of like a heartburn medication, but but prescribed instead of like me having to buy it. So hopefully she didn't end up throwing it out, guys. Hopefully she didn't. If anything, I can see if I can, like, I'll probably just have to pick some regular stuff up at the store tonight when I go with my dad. But I'm going to get, um, Aubrey's bag ready because we're going to be leaving here, um, probably, like, 4.30 to bring her to my mom's for 5. So, um, yeah, so I just got to get a couple, get a bunch of stuff done before I have to leave. Hi, guys, it's 3.17, and, um just wearing went upstairs and grabbed my Jason Voorhees shirt of course you gotta wear that today it's Friday the 13th so um, I'm gonna heat up heat up my leftovers from last night and have that because um, I'm not gonna do it right now I'm gonna do it maybe at like four o'clock because um, like I said I'm not gonna be eating past six anymore and I'm leaving here at five with my dad which means I'll be gone the rest of the night until I get home so right now I'm going to have a little snack and then at five o'clock I'm going to eat my leftovers from last night and that will be the last time I eat for the rest of the night, which is going to be hard for me because, um, my, my, like I told you guys the other day, like my body just tells me, like in my head, it tells me you need to eat, you need to eat, which obviously I don't, but I'm going to have to like just chew some gum or something, <laughs> chew some gum or do something, drink some water or, or whatever, just to get it out of my mind. But yeah, um, so I'm going to do that real quick. Um, I'm going to have my mom come in the morning and pick up Aubrey's lunch for group because I need to go to Walmart and get like some cookie butter for her. I want to get some um, grapes. Um, I want to get some um, yogurt covered raisins for her. So, um, and I want to make her sandwich in the morning. I'm going to make it a certain way so that it doesn't have the crust and everything like that. And so that I know she'll eat it. So I'd rather just have my mom come by and get her lunch in the morning. So yeah. Um, oh goodness, but yeah, I'm just gonna go, I've got Fred, I'm, I'm sorry, I've got Jason Voorhees playing, got Freddy, I can't even talk you guys, can't even talk, got Friday the 13th on, so, watching the first one right now, yeah, well I'll see you guys afterwards. Hey guys, it is um, about 4.45 and I just went to the bathroom. Uh, my dad's downstairs with Aubrey. I'm going to get um, her ready and we're gonna go drop her off at my mom's house. So I will see you guys afterwards. Mm, look at this. Hey guys, it's 8.49, I just got home. 
Um, I dropped my daughter off at my mom's at 5 o'clock. Then me and my dad went to Rhode Island. And we went to this place called Rice Chicken Farm. It's basically a place where it's like an all-you-can-eat type place. It's not like a um, buffet style. Like, they bring it to you. It's like chicken, salad, pasta with sauce, um, french fries, and rolls. Now, obviously, the only thing I had was the salad and the chicken. And I put, like, a little bit of ketchup with it and some salt and pepper. And I had a Diet Pepsi and a water. So, that's what we had. And then I went from there. We went to Walmart. And um, I got some stuff at Walmart. Um, I did a haul. You guys will see that. And then we came back. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to go over my brothers real quick. And I'll see you guys when I get back. Hi, guys. Um, it is 12, 12.29. Um, I was over at my brother's house and I came home, went to the bathroom and got dressed. Um, I need to put, um, start Aubrey's lunchbox for tomorrow. And then when I get up in the morning, finish the rest of it. Cause obviously there's only a certain amount, only so much that I can do right now. Cause obviously the cool stuff you do in the morning. So, I'm going to start getting that ready, and then I will let, um, see you guys before I go to bed. <sighs> Hi guys, it's 1.13, and I am going to bed. So, I will see you guys in the morning. Good night.